Oh, when life gives you lemons. This is a world. This is a world. This is a world. So hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog. So a lot of stuff going on. I'll explain the lemons, but yeah, yeah, I'll explain the lemons in a little while, and I know some of you are gonna be pissed off at me, but but it's gonna be what it is. Obviously, if you've been following the news, you know that the United States is now likely ramping up for some hostility against Iran. There's been a fair amount of hostility from Rex Tillerson. There have been comparisons between Iran and North Korea. Things aren't looking that good. So now let's add Iran to the list of Syria and North Korea. Bill O'Reilly lost his job after a bunch of accusations from women of sexual harassment charges and a number of companies pulled their advertising dollars from the O'Reilly factor. It looks like Foxes let O'Reilly go. I'm not one to gloat when bad things happen to people, but I certainly won't miss Bill O'Reilly. Steph Sanjati is going vegan, y'all. I don't know if you've heard of Steph, but Steph Sanjati is a pretty big YouTuber with four to five hundred thousand subscribers at this point. So Steph Sanjati put out a video, actually it was about a month ago, and I'm just getting the news thanks to viewer Marion. The video starts out kind of as an apology for something Steph had said in a previous video or during a live stream. I'm not sure exactly which one, but I'm including a link to the video below. And then goes on kind of a rant about why animal rights are important. She talked about the fact that she got the sense that there were a lot of vegans who really didn't care that much about trans rights. She felt that if vegans weren't gonna support trans people, then why should she, as a trans person, support veganism? And then she realized that it's not really about the vegans, it's about the animals. And then she told her viewers that she was gonna go vegan for a month and see what it was like. Well, Steph, I wish you the best of luck, and whether you're successful or not, thank you so much for spreading the vegan message to a lot of subscribers. So I'm gonna explain these lemons and a lot of you guys are gonna be mad at me. So you remember I did the Dropsy video a couple of weeks ago when I hosted that benefit at Hope and Anchor? Well, the shameful thing was when I went to put on my clothes, I didn't fit into any of my clothes. I actually had to go out and buy new clothes. And I just don't have the money for that. So I decided that I needed to just, you know, slim down a little bit, you know, whatever. And some of it's vanity and some of it's all kinds of other things and eating disorders and all that. And I know you guys are gonna say a million things against me, but I can't lie to you. I have to be honest with you about what I'm doing. I don't want anyone to think that I am at all recommending the master cleanse. I am not recommending that anyone do the master cleanse. The master cleanse is just something that has worked for me numerous times, you know, since I went vegan, you know, three or four times I've done a master cleanse and after doing the master cleanse, I was able to go back to maintaining a more balanced diet. I go through these stages where I'm eating a lot of junk food, things that really aren't healthy for me and at my age I really can't afford not to be taking care of myself as best as I possibly can. It's been harder to do my runs, just everything has been more difficult and obviously not being able to fit into my dropsy wardrobe, especially while I'm here in Brooklyn, is a real pain in the butt. So I'm gonna be doing the master cleanse. I'm not gonna be doing updates on the master cleanse. It's not anything that I wanna make a big deal about it, but I just thought that, you know, it's something that I should be honest about it because I'm probably going to be looking drastically different in about two weeks and you're going to be wondering why. You're going to be asking if I'm sick or what have you and the fact of the matter is no. Well, maybe I am sick, but it's going to be because I've been doing the master cleanse. So I know you guys are going to say a million things and I'm not going to tell you not to say a million things and yes, I'm going to probably respond to all of your comments. So. Go ahead and leave them. Oh, these vegan gains people! I don't know if they're all vegan gains people, but every time I've made a video about vegan gains, I've just gotten so many juvenile, just 
I know I told you guys that I was gonna make another video this week on Islam, but I just I just can't one a week is about as much as I can stomach So next week I'll make the video on Islam the following week I'll make that last follow-up talking about vegan gains and why people may be thinking that he has some associations with the alt-right Even though he claims that he has nothing to do with the alt-right And then I think I'm just gonna put the whole thing behind me not that Richard is responsible for the people who support him or the people who seem to be drawn to his name. I just want to monitor the negativity and there's so much of it that it takes me days to get through all the comments because regardless of how nasty they are, I still feel inclined to respond to everyone. So no more vegan gains this week next week. For those of you who've been enjoying the page to stage videos, look for more of those this weekend. I'm actually starting to see them. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto.